like to, uh, I love to start paintings, which is uh, uh, for me um, like playing. So I, I, I test lots of things and try out. I, I start to, to um, add more and more color and uh, for me it's like uh, creating a kind of resonance space which is coming from all these different layers and I'm, um, um, at the beginning I'm, I'm um, kind of starting to create a, 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 back, um, a background for, for what is coming next. So all these paintings are in a way in the state of uh, having a, a background and, and now I'm, I'm starting to think of how it's uh, going to be continued. Which is for me um, totally different um, uh, way of working because now I start to um, to collect um, and I go out of the studio and, and start to, to, to draw and uh, to start to collect and what might fit into this into the surrounding of the, of the paintings. And, um, so this is um, the whole process is in a way which is for me also becoming obvious is divided into different sections so it's, it's starting with a free painterly uh, approach to a kind of space and then I start to, to furnish it. So during this pro process of, of prepare, preparing the, the ground, the, the background, this resonance space, uh, it's starting to become more and more obvious what I need for the next step so this is also having a kind of long time where the, where the paintings can grow and then um, I go out or I, I find some things here in the studio or, I, um, or for example the chair which, is, uh, which was kind of um, subject to uh, a few paintings and um, then I start to study these details I need for, for the further steps. So for me it's, it's, a, it's a real spatial situation which I examine by drawing so it's like uh, But it's not so much um, like the interiors I made before, it's not a real uh, furniture, it's becoming something different, which is uh, in a way more formal and uh, which is not so much connected to any um, ideas of living, of, of, um, of having real um, spaces, which, which are in you. So it's like a, like a more abstract still life, which, I, which I'm working with. So, so, um, this chair, for example, is more a translation to it, to a, coming from a chair, which is becoming something different, which is not uh, an object you can use, it's like a real visual idea. So with, with a drawing you always translate what you see into something different, and this gives me a, a, a big freedom to... to, to um, uh, it's, it's, it's so much easier than, than working, for example, with, with photographs. When, when, I've, uh, when, I, when I made a drawing of something, really um, know how this object works and uh, it's very easy for me to, to put it into a painting so it's, it's more organic, I don't know how this happens but it's, uh, it gives me a much bigger freedom than just taking a photograph. So it's, uh, for people who, who can really draw, who, who make drawings, it's, it's, it's easy to, to jump uh, from one technique to the other. I think that this, is my, uh, this is my experience. So of course you can Lithography, but it's, um, um, it's interesting to me uh, to see people um, who are able to draw, they can really easy go from one technique to the other and, and this is um, the thing which really interests me to, to also try out different techniques like pulp painting or uh, silk screen etching. Um, Because it always um, gives you a new idea, and it's uh, mostly coming back also to painting. So painting is, I would regard it as my main uh, uh, main work. But when you do graphic or, um, or as I mentioned, the pulp painting, it has always an effect on, on, on my paintings. Uh, so which is uh, all the other.
other way around. But it's, it's, it's really interesting to see that. And, um, and the difference is um, that you are working together with, with people who know the technique and um, you are um, having a kind of um, interaction and uh, you are having a dialogue between the one who knows the technique very well and um, me who has an artistic idea and together we um, trying to um, make an art of uh, a piece of art so this is uh, for me also interesting and in, in comparison to being alone all the day in the studio so this is uh, art painting is um, is a, is a um, technique where you uh, work uh, wet and wet into the paper pulp so it's, mm -hmm. you can paint with liquid paper pulp into the basic sheet which is also wet and then you start to, to add um, to, to put on the pulp um, and the interesting thing is that, that you work with paper on paper so at the end it's um, um, it's one material it's not like having a ground and you put paint on it it's like the whole thing is paper and it's a whole it's a paper object at the end and it's um, um, and in the moment when it's dry um, uh, the piece is finished and the fibers um, connect and then you can't change it anymore. So it's like, um, um, it's a very interesting technique where you have to be very concentrated and have to um, um, finish the whole thing in one session. So you have, uh, your time is also quite limited. But normally I, have, I need a, a, a really long period for the work, so that's the reason why I work um, simultaneously on 15 to 20 paintings and um, because I can't, I can't really wait for one painting to be finished so I, uh, I'm doing a, a series of works all together so and, and they all need a, a really long a really long time work on, on a painting like over one year and thinking of it waiting for the right moment to continue um, and um, me the situation is my, mostly like um, I'm, I'm always working on the paintings, so every day maybe. Um, and um, it's funny that there's always something to do. So it's, 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 uh, um, uh, but at the end, they all need a real big, uh, a real long period to be finished. I, I always uh, work with different kind of qualities. On surface of painting, so this is a new quality which is kind of re relief, like having these little s snakes on the surface and um, um, yeah, this is really, so I, I always, sometimes I, I, I stick things on, on the canvas so and I can collage and this is um, coming really from the, from the pile painting. Uh, 
rotations and I just concentrated on, on really um, on, a, on a subject which is really interesting for me, like um, uh, showing space in a two-dimensional um, two-dimensional surface, which is a painting, so which is uh, for me always a fascination. So that's important. So I realize uh, I'm not really dependent on all these stories about it. So I'm just I'm really interested in just in space, which, uh, which I know um, uh, try in a way to examine. So also by reducing space or uh, confronting just a uh, uh, corner which is uh, lying on a, on a big blue wall or something. So this is um, the thing which I want to try out at the moment. So it's, um, it's, it's a new challenge for me. Of course, the stage of the painting looks quite, quite abstract and I'm, I'm, um, I'm also interested in, in reduction and in reducing uh, what, I, what I collected over, over the years. So just uh, finding maybe one, um, one form which is coming back all the time or I'm, I'm always referring to, to the visual world, which, which is really, really important to, to me. So I, I, um, I don't believe that I'm going to be a, a real abstract painter. So, it's, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to, to go into extremes, which might be nearly abstract, but then I'm going back to, <laughs> to real, I don't know, uh, full garden. Painting or whatever, but it's, it's so the, the the lines are clear for me, so I, I don't. Uh, 